So welcome. In today's episode, we're going to take an even deeper dive into some solar related projects here on the channel. I've recently kind of discovered solar and dove headfirst into it. So we're in my solar equipment room that I've built right here where I do testing of equipment and where I'm setting up my permanent system that we're going to use as backup solar and power here on the property. In today's episode, we're going to be tackling ventilation, basically for the heat that's given off by the equipment in this room. I've got a really cool way to ventilate and it's gonna allow me to do some monitoring, something that was important to me. Now I'll admit, these inverters, right now I'm using an Orient Power 6500 watt inverter and spoiler alert, I've done personally ordered and paid for some more equipment. We're about to make this a lot bigger. But this inverter is not putting off any heat hardly at all. I've been blown away. Even with 25 to 2700 watts of solar in, the current max capacity of my solar array, and me sometimes putting 1000 to 2000 watts of power out into the shop, you'll hear the fans ramp up. You do feel some heat generation but I was expecting this room to get miserable hot. We were almost 90 degrees several days last week and this equipment was running around the clock. And while it was a little warm in here, it was nothing like what I was expecting. But with that said, the more equipment that I add in here, well, the more heat generation that's gonna happen. So let's get some proper and filtered ventilation in this room to get the heat out and to make our equipment run more efficiently and to just not have to come in and work and talk in a room that's 95 degrees. So I've ordered a few things off of Amazon to do some basic ventilation in here and I think it's gonna work out really well. Fingers crossed that it does. This right here is probably what I'm most excited about, especially since I found out that this can connect to internet, which we now have out here in the shop, and can give me feedback and temperature information in that room. I really like the idea of that. So what this is right here is a four inch ventilated duct fan. A lot of times you'll see these used in grow rooms like greenhouses and things such as that. Not only does this monitor temperature, I think this may monitor humidity and other things for the people that are gonna use them in that particular situation. So this comes with a nice screen that we can mount on the wall. I can program this to turn off and on and be fully automated for certain temperature ranges in there to actually ventilate, turn the air over in the room. I think it's a really good idea. And again, I can connect this up to the internet that we have out here and check from anywhere on my phone. I can also program alerts into this. That's critical. Should a fire or something break out in the room or equipment fail and all of a sudden I'm getting a spike in heat, well, it'll notify me on my phone and I can come right out here and deal with the situation. So here's the thing. If we're going to be pulling fresh air into that room, well, it's going to be air coming out of the shop, which may be a little dusty, a little dirty, depending on if I'm doing work or not. So we're going to want to filter that air before it comes in. So I bought a bunch of pre-filter material right here, and we're going to pre-filter the air coming into the room in two different locations. Now they make these fans in four inch versions and six inch versions, but looking at the CFM 200 112 CFM, that's 212 cubic feet a minute. I can turn over the air very quickly in that room, even with the four inch fan. And four inch stuff is a whole lot easier to install. I also really wanted to watch my power consumption because the last thing I want is this fan running a lot during the day and pulling a lot of power from my solar equipment or the storage that I have in batteries. This fan is rated at only 35 watts. So you're talking very minimal pull here in order to keep that room somewhat cooled off.
Now you're probably gonna be wondering why I'm cutting this hole out here once you see what this is in a minute for this piece right here. Shh, that's coming soon. Y'all caught that on camera. That'd be awesome. I've been trying to catch these guys forever. These daggum A10 warthogs buzz over my property literally 100 feet over the trees. This is not a military fly zone. It's not marked on a map. And people keep telling me I'm crazy they fly that low. Bull crap. And what scares me is I fly a drone here legally up to 400 feet. So if we come up here and take a look, this is where my old vent fan was. And I've decided to leave the vent fan in so it looks decorative on the inside. I've cut this plate out to cover up the hole. We have one inch thick foam pre-filter right there. And again, I have cut this hole specifically for something that's coming in the future. I can't tell you about it just yet. Give me a few weeks on that. So now we can pull air back through the fan because I removed the damper off of it and pull fresh air into the room and it'll be filtered at least for like large particles like dust and all got the other fan over here pulling up out of that uh, basically dryer vent material right there and blowing hot air that way i may put an elbow on it and have it blow up not sure just yet all right you see now just put pre-filter material on the bottom side of the door it's very important because with the fan up top now having a little more resistance with filter material when I kick the fan on in here, it's gonna pull from the path of least resistance, which would have been the big gap underneath the door right there. So now we're filtered underneath the door and that's really where I want the air to pull from. Cold air is denser and is lower. I would like for that pull up. Hot air rises in a room and that's why I have the vent over in a corner, especially by where the inverters are. Inverters pull air in up here and exhaust it out off of both sides. We're eventually gonna have another inverter I think it's going to go right where that battery is. So I'm going to have a lot of heat in this corner. That's why I wanted the uh, actual air intake for the fan to pull from over there. Pull the hot air out of the corner. Cool air is going to come in from up there and underneath the door. 
Both of them are filtered for large dust and debris. So here is my automatic controls. Trying to figure out where to put it. This works just fine. I only have to unplug one cable when I pull this out. It is no problem at all. It looks like this is going haywire in my screen. Flickering. I don't know if that's going to show up in editing or not, but this is perfectly smooth and normal for me. I've got all different kinds of uh, settings in here from high temperature, low temperature settings to kick the fan off and on. I can kick it off and on for humidity and I can set alarms in here. Um, plus this also hooks up to Wi-Fi. I don't know if you can see that with all the flickering. And I've got an app on my phone for this so I can get alarms when there's heat in the room. You know, what if a piece of equipment fails, overheats? What if something catches fire? I can instantly be notified and get right the heck out here. Speaking of fire, we're gonna be addressing that in an upcoming episode. That's been a big concern. I have been all over the place on what I wanna do for this room. I've got some cool stuff in mind. We're gonna cover that really, really soon. So now I have automated fan control. And let me tell you something, this thing, even though that's just a four inch vent right there, it pulls some air, trust me. Let's see if I can feel any air coming under the door. Yeah, I feel a little bit. And then we'll also be pulling some from up there as well. I can feel a slight breeze coming through that pre-filter material. And the cool thing is, well, it's all automated now and gives me updates. Plus I can control it from an app anywhere. All right, so I know what some of you are gonna be saying. Hey, shouldn't a room like this technically be a conditioned space? Um, some of y'all have already been talking to me about that. We're gonna work on some stuff in the future, but as of right now, I have not seen any significant heat. I think I would be okay exhausting the room like this. I can control humidity some, uh, temperature some. Keep in mind, if it's a hot shop, I'm pulling the hot air in, so to speak. But the temperature ranges this equipment and battery and inverter can run at is hotter than is possible in this shop. With that said, a cooler and conditioned room, well, that's an even better room. We may, we may work on that in the future. All right, so hopefully y'all enjoyed that. This is pretty cool now, having, uh, having automated ventilation and you know, Wi-Fi control, app control, so I can really monitor the room. Oh, I forgot to mention, there's my little temperature probe coming out right up there. I figured somewhere, maybe not right where this is exhausting, would be a good idea. Seems to be reading quite accurate with another thermometer I have in the shop. So, hopefully I'm enjoying the series. We're getting pretty good views on the videos compared to my daily stuff, so I'm thinking y'all are enjoying the solar. Again, spoiler alert, I think I mentioned this at the beginning, I've already ordered more equipment, so I'm investing heavily in this myself. We're going to go ahead and ramp this system on up. i got a lot more stuff coming from what we're going to do for some fire prevention. Um, now that we're starting to stack a lot of batteries and things in here, you know, the what-if scenarios. And, well, we've got more equipment coming. We're going to go ahead and ramp this thing on up and make for sure we got us some good backup power before, well, the world ends, all the crazy stuff, or realistically, before a hurricane or something hits. We're starting to get in hurricane season. I want some backup power. All right, hopefully I enjoyed it. By the way, if you're interested in any of this stuff, I bought it off of Amazon. I'll put links in the description. It is an affiliate link. We do earn a small commission if you buy it. Thank you if you do. Hey, if not, you got a cool episode. We'll see you on the next one.